where the opposing team has an advantage in the post, as South Carolina does with their size. And this Elite Eight matchup is underway. Here's Von Hoffman. Gardner looking into Beers. Here's Beers facing up and finishing. Don Staley before the game, a point of emphasis for trying to make sure Oregon State does not dictate the pace as that's deflected out of bounds. And Oregon State again able to control the glass. Here's Von Olhoff and all the way in, misses the layup. Had a golden opportunity there. And then Von Olhoff falls down in the backcourt. Here's Hall cutting in, flips it home, plus the foul. Cardoso nearly threw it away. Back to Cardoso. Beers has that one foul. Cardoso able to get it in off the window. Five to shoot. Hansford with two to shoot. Hunter launches, and they're going to let South Carolina play on. Or it would have been a violation otherwise. Here's Pow Pow alone. She got it. Out of three. Sanaya Fagan now in the game for South Carolina. Another big body. Von Olhoffen with the rainbow mid-range. Against UCLA in mid-February. One of the best finishes we've seen in a game this season. With five traded made buckets back and forth in the last 10 seconds of that game. As Fagan says, all right, I'll take it. Here's Bo Wiley. Paul Wiley hops in and lays it home. The impressive freshman is quarter of this Elite Eight matchup. Here's Paul Wiley, the hesitation and the cup. What a finish from Malaysia for Wiley. And coming off the on-ball screen, she just toys with the defender. What a beautiful one in. You know you could see something you haven't seen before. On the attack. Favreau can't finish it. Here's Von Olhoffen trying to shake for Wiley. Von Olhoffen gets denied. Watkins in for Wiley there for the ball. She reached into the game for Oregon State. Beers gets a rest. Here's Hansford. She got it on a three. We felt the dramatic difference in speed and athleticism. Just a five-point game. Oregon State firing again. It's Hansford on a three. Get at the end of the frame. Getting Oregon State back into it. Here's Fagan. Shoveling out. Hall's three. Short follows it up and lays it in. Have their first ever win against an AP number one as Pavrova gets rejected. Over. Has it knocked away by Full Wiley? Three to shoot. Beers may have to. She does. In and out. And Watkins secures the rebound. Her third. Was it, if that was a three, it was I think it was a long two, okay. but yes. As Tessa Johnson hits the corner three. Paroba dumps it down. Beers waits and finishes plus the foul. And that is going to be number two on Raven Johnson. Uh, to Raven Beers. Two go to the ball handler. And then Beers just pauses. Both teams shooting 33% from the floor. Here's Johnson dishing out. Cardoso from 17 looking smooth. Camilla Cardoso projected to be a... First round pick in the WNBA draft. Wow. How about a hands for stroke? And Scott Ruick trusting Beers right now on the floor with those two fouls. They dump it down to Watkins. Watkins gets the foul. Both now have two fouls. Ashley Watkins is so talented. 25-19, South Carolina. Gardner with space. Connects on a three eight from downtown in his first half that has been what has kept them tight with south carolina pow pow can't lay it in watkins on the putback to what happened on the rebound either feels like you could have played on i agree but you can understand why if the official sees the hook oh, yes they're gonna call it for wiley so dangerous in transition gets it back puts it up and in Timeout, Oregon State. Hunter gets it across. Von Olhoffen finds 
Perova underneath. Beers waits and finishes. Good job breaking the press there. And it turns into an easy leg. If she has her balance, she is going to be able to score through most. And now Hunter trying to come up with a steal and does. Hunter bounces and Perova lays it in. Good response out of the timeout. Third largest improvement from any team last season. Already 14 more wins. Hansford gets blocked by Johnson. Follows it up. Pow Pow bounces. Sneaky feed to Fagan. Watkins on the interior. Lays it in. Again, Ashlyn Watkins. Funnel Hoffman. Guarded by Hall. Putting it on the deck. What a pass. Hunter connects on the three. Gorgeous delivery from Barova. Kicks it out. Hunter again. Huge threes here from Donovan Hunter. Here is Cardoso. Oregon State again because of the foul trouble starts this half in his own. Cardoso flips it in over Beers. Keep going at it. Donovan Hunter rather than Gardner on the other end. Thank you, Lisa. South Carolina can get some open looks here because doubles are coming against the zone or just keep feeding the bees. <laughs> it was zero fouls. Yeah. Here's Von Olhoff in. Von Olhoff in. Nice footwork and shovels it in. Beautiful move there. Here's Beers. Von Olhoff in will pull and hit. It is a two-point game. A turnover score against State. South Carolina has not done a ton with them thus far. Here's Kitts against that zone. Breaks it in as it's taken away by Beers. Looking for an angle. Nice work by Cardoso getting around Beers, then running the floor and finishing. Camilla Cardoso getting it done on both ends. Here's Beers, great position and a nice find from Von Olhoffen. Johnson into the corner, that three is good. Raven Johnson delivering for South Carolina. But the guards have also done their thing. Raven Johnson. Here's Kitts, deep catch, the turn and a rejection. Reese on the rejection, it'll stay here in the games tomorrow. <laughs> in the corner, Johnson rings in a three and a little regression to the mean now here in the Elite Eight. One of the things that's remained consistent is their elite offensive rebounding. It's had a huge impact on this game today. How about the freshman? And a steal from guess who? Watkins. Pow, pow up, finds Fagan, who lays it in. That's what happens when your opponent hits a couple of threes. Here's Fagan, out to Johnson. Five to shoot, Johnson pedals through, gets denied by Beers. 16 matchup. Fagan off the miss from Watkins, flips it in. They have 10 starters, and this run has been by mostly bench players. That's what's made South Carolina hard all season. And what I love about what Don Staley's done, their theme all year is love. Tessa Johnson, Raven Johnson with huge threes during this run. As Watkins, who's had a big afternoon, lays it in. NC State is a tough team to beat. And a team that was unranked to begin this season. As Hunter gets blocked from behind by Full Wiley. Nice to, have, nice to have these kind of this kind of quickness and ups gets beat and full Wiley able to come from the back and She's come back and been intentional on defense and that is holding your players to a high standard and it's paid off for Don Staley Yeah, that was the UNC game. What a pass from Hunter Hansford connects on a three Watkins wanted Hall to shoot, I believe. Instead, she drives it here and banks it in. What a big take from Bree Hall. Here's Von Ohoff in. Circling around. Gardner will fire it in. Good job insisting her way to the rim. Gardner, how about that? Oregon State is trying to sprint in to get the offensive board and not just kind of wandering it. Right. Here's Pal Pal, the runner in. Good. 
Here's Hunter turning, taking, and hitting. Here's Hunter. Gets the angle on Pow Pow and lays it in. Four-point lead for the Gamecocks. Out of the timeout, Cardoso gets a touch. Johnson drives, floats, finishes, plus the foul. If she wants to go to work or pass it back out, she passes it back out, and what a take by John. USC UConn at nine. Here is Hall. Hall gets denied by Beers, who then directs it away, and Hunter comes up with it. Two minutes to go. Gardner trying to work Watkins. Wow, Watkins said, uh-uh. And a tie up here, possession arrow, South Carolina. Yes, indeed. And this crowd is certainly appreciating what she's bringing on the defensive end. Beautiful. For the fourth straight season, South Carolina is headed to the final four.